Hello guys, so this is really bittersweet for me to say, but it's also really good news. Um, we accepted an offer on the house! Hello guys, good morning! I am vlogging today. It's the first official vlog of me being 30. It feels really weird to say that, but also so exciting to say that. I am so excited for this decade in my life. So right now, big things are happening. I have a big announcement to tell you guys, or big news to share with you guys. But first, I'm gonna grab some boba and meet up with Manuel because Manuel, he's flipping another home in the Silver Lake area. And he asked me if I wanted to invest in the property with him, which is very exciting. Like I would love to work with him even more. I'm gonna go check it out and see if it makes sense or if it doesn't, hopefully it does. But I'm really excited to see it. I'm gonna pick up boba first, so let's head on over. Uh, hello. Can I get two strawberry jasmine tea frescas with boba? Can I get a name for the order? Tiffany. Oh, Thank you. I got the goods. I got my strawberry tea fresca with boba. And I got one for Manuel as well. He originally wanted something that had taro in it, but there was nothing taro there. So I'm going to force him to like my drink instead. Because it's very good. Mmm. Oh my god, the boba is still warm. Yum. I will never get over how alive I feel after one sip of this. Like, I just feel the sugar just rushing through my blood, down my lymphatic system. I don't really know what I'm trying to say here other than I can feel the sugar high coming on. Mmm. A plus. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So this is what you're planning and building. That is beautiful. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna be super modern, like Spanish modern. Yeah, modern yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the ADU. How big is the ADU gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be 400. 400. So it's gonna be 2,600 square feet total. No, like 27. 27. All right, they're putting up another beam. I'm excited to watch it. Hello guys, I am home right now and look at this gift. I opened this a few days ago, but I figured I would show you guys really fast. I got this for my 30th birthday from Peach and Lily. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Alicia, Ed, they are amazing. Either way, I just got home and I figured I would open my package from Timu. I think I have two, so let me try to grab the other one. All right, here's my other package. I got so many things from Timu. Literally, if you guys haven't seen Timu yet, it is a worldwide global shopping store that has such good stuff and random finds you would never find anywhere else and everything is incredibly priced as you guys know i just came back from the house and i'll update you guys more on like what i'm thinking i definitely want to make sure that it makes sense for me to invest and i know the market is a little bit down right now so i'm trying to do the math in my head i'll talk about it more after i show you guys what i got from timu because i'm very excited to see what is in here i actually had made an order before this is where i got this cute little phone case i've been using this phone case for like a month now and let me tell you guys i get so many compliments on it and i believe this guy was like four dollars and everything got delivered so quickly wow 
Why is there so much stuff? Okay, I moved the camera because it was so close to my face. Hello. To me, Timu feels like Daiso on steroids. You can literally find everything you want there for really inexpensive. I bought this little shower caddy just because I feel like my shower is always overfilled with products. I also got a bunch of press on nails because I have been kind of into them. That Tarte sent me her collection with Olive and June and I kind of was obsessed with it. So I got three pairs of press on nails. Like look how cute these patterns are. I've been super randomly into corsets lately. Got this cute little corset. Look at all the details to it. It's so pretty. Okay, wait, this is so cute. On a casual everyday grocery run or I'm running errands or going horseback riding, I take a bag like this with me. And this just says Brooklyn, New York on it. This is so cute. Next thing I got, I got another bag. This one is a faux alligator crocodile bag. This will definitely fit everything I ever need. I don't like to bring a lot of things with me. It's normally just my phone and a wallet and keys and maybe like a chapstick. Perfect size. <laughs> Imagine cute little cocktails in this. I would actually want to display these because they're just so pretty to look at. And then I got this little cute tea mug because you guys know I've been drinking a lot of tea. I wanted to get some ceramic mugs. Also for kitchen utensils or kitchen supplies, I got the cutest gold stirs. I feel like this is something I would have stolen from a restaurant because it's so pretty. Matt is gonna freak out when he sees these because I already know he's gonna think these are so cute and cool. Also, I'm gonna link everything that I got from T Moon down below for you guys if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. Yes, this is a Lazy Susan for underneath my bathroom. My bathroom is so unorganized. And this is a little Lazy Susan for your skincare slash makeup. Ah, ha ha ha. It sounds so evil. Oh my gosh, it's like multiple containers. You can put something there and then top it off. That is, why did I forget I got this? I'm like so excited for this. Oh, I am so proud of my past self. This is gorgeous. What the actual fudge? That is so funky and cute. This is my style of home decor. Highly recommend checking out the home decor at Timu. I have been wanting to get more into like my ear game. So I got these cute little hoops. They're like thick gold hoops. I actually wanna put them in my ear now. I like those. Those are freaking cute. Okay, I'm gonna put the other ones in. These are, of course, not real gold, so if you guys are allergic to fake jewelry, just be careful. Okay, I also got some body chains because when I ordered this, I thought I might potentially go to Coachella. Now that Coachella is actually happening right now, I'm like, I'm kinda happy I'm not going to Coachella. Oh my god, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> How freaking adorable. I also got some makeup. Asian makeup is so trendy right now that I don't know which brands are good, but I saw this Gigi Bear brand and they had really cute packaging and good reviews and the photos they had were so pretty that I was like, I wanna try this for myself. Look how pretty that packaging is. It looks like jelly. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Whoa, y'all, that is so pretty to me. You cannot tell me that is not a pretty color on. Okay, so if you guys wanna check out Timu, I have a link for you guys down below, but if you guys want 30% off, use my code TiffanyMa. I don't really understand why they're giving you guys 30% off because the prices are already insane. Literally, go explore. I spent hours exploring. Um, this is my second order from them, and everything is honestly great quality for what you're paying for, so I highly, highly recommend. So yeah, I'm gonna eat lunch really fast. I have been awake since 8 a.m. Today, I went to the Passport Federal office because I need to get a passport expedited so I like need like a real sense of identification somewhere but yeah I think I'm gonna go to the house I had been working on that you guys saw yeah I haven't updated you guys on that house in a minute and some things have changed inside of the house that I never showed you guys I'm gonna be big because I'm gonna talk about it in a second look at this beautiful sandwich Matt just made me let's look at the cross section oh man what is this bacon chicken buffalo cheese oh avocado, onions, yummy. Hello guys, so 
This is really bittersweet for me to say, but it's also really good news. Um, we accepted an offer on the house. So the house is officially off the market. We actually close on the house on Wednesday. It was the quickest close ever. And I don't want to put too many eggs in a basket, but Wednesday is four days away, so I doubt anything's going to happen in the next four days. But I just wanted to visit the house one last time and show you guys kind of uh, my thoughts and feelings and show you guys some things I didn't show you guys last time as well. The house closed, we accepted an offer, and we, we accepted an offer at what we wanted and I'll tell you guys specific numbers later in the future. You guys will probably find out by the time this video is up what we close for but just in case something happens I don't want to put it out in the world unless it's official official but we will go over numbers at some point once I get all the numbers back and everything but yes I will be making money on this investment. I think a lot of you guys were scared that I wasn't going to. I think a lot of you guys thought that I overbuilt for this property, which I still don't think I did. Um, we had a bunch of people going in and out of this house. It definitely sat on the market a lot longer than I expected. I think it sat on the market for three months, but um, we were just waiting for the right offer. We got the right offer. We said yes, and I'm so excited about that. It did take us a while to get here, so we weren't really getting real good offers the first couple of months so we decided to add something to the backyard that I did not show you guys and it is this jacuzzi. Oh my gosh. I didn't show you guys this but we built a jacuzzi. How freaking cute is this? How cute is this? Also let me just show you guys my outfit. Um, Matt and I are going on a date. I'm taking him to sugar fish in a little bit. Since no one is here to take my outfit of the day I figured I would just show it off to you guys. We ended up building a jacuzzi in the backyard just because we were competing with other houses that had pools and stuff and we live in a neighborhood where a lot of people do have pools so we decided to add a little jacuzzi and then we also added a gate which I will show you guys in a second but this jacuzzi is beautiful. This is the design of the jacuzzi. I think what's really cool is you can have little sun loungers right here. So Manuel really helped design this jacuzzi. If you wanted to hang out in the jacuzzi, you can have a sun lounger and then people actually in the jacuzzi. This is a freaking massive jacuzzi. I don't know if you guys can see how large it is. It is not a typical size jacuzzi. And then you can walk up and just hang out. I think this is such a value add. Literally the second we put this on the market with the jacuzzi, we just had so many more people interested in it. Like this backyard is beautiful. It is so beautiful. Um, but I didn't show you guys our gate that we ended up building into the house. Um, you can see it right there. This house now has a gate so people can open the gate, come in with their cars, and no one can walk into your backyard. Before I talk about any other future business dealings I have, I thought it would be fun to say goodbye to the inside of the house and do one last walkthrough. Um, all the contingencies are completely done, so no inspection. The appraisal contingency is gone, and we're closing in a few days, so it's crazy. But I figured I would show you guys one last time what the inside of the house looks like. All the furniture is gone except the couch. Um, the new owner of this house wants wanted to buy the couch so they bought it off the stager so yeah that's the only thing inside the house i am so jealous of the new owners of this house they are going to be living in a beautiful beautiful house this is really freaking bittersweet to me um i'm so happy but also kind of sad that it is something i can no longer visit anymore i will probably drive by the house often but i could never just see it for fun. But yeah, this is the beautiful bathroom that, that Manuel, Kelly, Kathy, and I all were deciding on if we should paint it black or not. And it's beautiful in this color. I'm so happy we went with black instead of green. And this bathroom, so many good memories are gonna happen in this bathroom for this new family that's moving in. Of course, we're gonna paint over all of those dings for them. Here's the kitchen one last time. My favorite bathroom is right here. What a beautiful bathroom. Not as beautiful as a master, but a really good guest bathroom. 
All right, here is the gate that I was talking to you guys about. It looks so good. I'm so happy we put that in. Honestly, we should have just done it from the beginning, but it became a concern, so we ended up putting it in. Honestly, that was not long enough. I wish I stayed a little bit longer, but Matt and I are about to go on a date. I'm taking him to Sugarfish. It is a sunny, sunny day. It feels like a real day. I'm picking you up. <laughs> chemistry's like ecstasy, hearts racing. Hello guys, I made myself a fruit bowl earlier and I have some extra oranges. So I'm gonna cut it up for the babies because they've never had oranges before and I wanna give it to them. But <clears throat> today is Tuesday. We close on the house tomorrow, which is absolutely insane. And I'm feeling super bittersweet about it. I think I wanna go visit the house tonight, but I honestly don't really have time to do that. But I figured I would talk to you guys about what I'm thinking of doing with my money that I'm getting from this house. I'm trying to figure out if I should reinvest it with Manuel or not. I do think it is a pretty good investment, I will say. I visited the house and if you guys saw what I was doing, I was looking over his design, his plans. I wanted to see what the comps looked like in the neighborhood. Manuel is thinking that it is going to become a 2200 square foot house with the ADU. It's around 400 square feet, so it'll be roughly like a 2600 square foot house. And the comps in Los Feliz in Silver Lake is roughly $1,000 per square foot. That's kind of actually on the lower end i've actually seen comps where it was like eleven hundred dollars a square foot which is insane so from what i know manuel got the house for a million dollars he's looking to put in another one million to 1.1 million dollars that's kind of where he needs the financing with the house and so i was looking at the comps <clears throat> and the comps in the neighborhood for a 2200 square foot house would be roughly like 2.3 or 4 million dollars but that doesn't include the adu so with the comps being maybe a thousand a square foot that would be roughly like 2.6 million dollars and after fees and everything it would be a profit of maybe okay. four to five hundred thousand dollars and he believes he can finish in the next three or four months so overall i don't really know what to do it's a scary time in the market right now theo zoe i opened these for you for come here oh, oh. <laughs> you can see theo heel come here come here everyone wants to see you no one gets to see you you want it you gotta show your face come here Oh, you sound so cute with your little sick nose. I know, right? Oh, there's the big boy. There's the big boy. Well, I have him jump up, though. Go down. I know. Normally he doesn't jump up, but... All right, one more. You want some? The oranges are really good. Come on. Take a bite. You need the vitamin C. All right, I think I'm going to call it the, a day for the vlog, guys. I love you guys. Um, let me know what you guys... <laughs> think I should do. I know the house is going to turn out beautiful. It'll be so fun to work on another project with Manuel and Kathy. They're like such an amazing team to work with. I have best time and I feel like they became my family when I was in the house every single day. I would see them so often, but it's still nerve wracking to think I'm going to put hundreds and hundreds of thousand dollars into this project. Um, and I don't really know what the housing market's gonna look like in the next four months because it, it's been looking scary. All right, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. I feel like I put out decent content. <laughs> uh, also, I'm sick, so like, it'll make me feel better. All right, I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.